Imagine you could discover flavors, textures, and aromas from the highlands and the jungles. Imagine a cuisine combining pre-Inca and Inca food with Spanish, African, Asian, French, and Italian influences brought in by immigrants. Peruvian gastronomy is considered among the most varied in the world. In Lima, you'll find it all. Its best restaurants are topping global rankings, which have turned the Peruvian capital into a booming magnet for demanding foodies. One example is Central Restaurante of Chef Virgilio Martinez Belez, listed among the world's 50 best restaurants in 2013. His contemporary multi-awarded cuisine has brought little-known indigenous ingredients into the menu. His experimental dishes are like an expedition through Peru's ecosystems. We've organized a tasting that we call Per Altitude, where each dish is a composition of ingredients that grow at different elevations. We could start with the deep sea, then go to the Andean peaks, and then come down to the low Amazon, all this with different dishes. The tasting menu goes from 20 meters below sea level up to 4,100 meters. One dessert is made from clay and a cyanobacteria that grows in lagoons above 3,600 meters. Another dish is a triumph of high altitude tubers. This is a dish of extreme stems, high altitude stems, roots and tubers, where you can still find color and a lot of taste. In Cirquillo, one of Lima's main markets, it's possible to find many of the regional treasures that make Peruvian cuisine so rich. There are over 3,800 kinds of potatoes and around 300 of aji pepper, not to mention fruits of every shape, color, texture and taste coming from all over the country. Tumbo de la Sierra is a product used for ceviche, because before, during the Inca times, there was no lemon, so they used this. Peru's Pacific fisheries are among the most prolific in the world. In Mercado de Chorillos, we saw fishermen coming back with crab, mullet and sardine, ready to end up on local markets and home tables. These are usually fried, but with the fillets you can also prepare ceviche. One of the best places in Lima to try the country's flagship dish ceviche is the picantiera of chef Hector Solis. Hector has taken northern regional cuisine to a gourmet level. In this convivial restaurant you can find all the northern musts like rice and duck and baby goat stew. But fish is the real star. Today, we've received three kinds of fish, the buri, the cabrilla, and the cojinova. We never have the same fish, nor the quantities we'd like, as we work with people who catch fish from the beach and who practice responsible fishing. And so what are you going to prepare with this? This will be a classic ceviche from northern Peru, very simple and very basic. Fish, aige, and lemon juice, the simpler the better. With the daily catch, Hector also prepared a traditional suado de pescado, fish cooked in its juices, and a parihuela, a seafood and fish soup. And in the meantime, ceviche is served. Ceviche has to be raw, completely raw, caressed by lemon. Sudado's Jews have to have juicy fish. Duck has to be cooked to the point that you can eat it with a spoon. Our dive into Peruvian food culture wouldn't be complete without a taste of pisco. It's the national drink and a multi-prize winner abroad. We met a real expert in a trendy, fully restored casona turned into a lounge bar. Pisco is a historical wine brandy. There are eight authorized grapes distilled in small copper pot stills up to their final alcoholic percentage. We have three kinds of pisco, pure pisco, produced with one grape only, acholado or blended, and mosto verde, that's special, as it's distilled from unfermented pressed sweet grapes. Pisco is also the main ingredient of a long line of classic and more contemporary cocktails, from the well-known pisco sour, with egg white giving its hallmark froth, to the chilcano with ginger ale and lime, and, well, your only limit is your creative imagination. With Pisco and its variations, we leave Peruvian gastronomy. In the next edition of Peru Life, we'll discover the most popular and alternative locations of Lima.